Hi, this is Instructional Development at UC Santa Barbara. Most of us have years of experience with in-person class routines, but aren't sure where to start when designing an online class. So here are some key considerations to help you create a weekly pattern for your online course that provides routine and predictability for you and your students. Most weekly patterns will have a mix of asynchronous content and synchronous meetings. The specific mixture depends on the amount of live interaction the students need and what you want to do to build an online class community. For example, a language course may have three live meetings per week so students can practice with others, but a lecture-based course might only offer one optional live meeting because students use an online forum and group assignments to interact with each other. A good place to start when designing the weekly pattern for your online course is figuring out which parts of your class students really struggle with and what kinds of real-time conversations will help students as they work through that content. Those things are really good candidates for live synchronous meetings. Then think about all the things that still require interaction but not necessarily live conversations. For example, what requires iteration or complex problem solving over time? Or what discussions do you have that require thoughtful consideration of multiple perspectives while students are discussing them? These kinds of things could be done asynchronously in small groups over a few days. And they can be integrated with informative assessments that help both you and the students measure their learning. In addition, think about other ways you and your students can monitor their understanding on a regular basis. When you've decided what interactions and formative assessments might work well, look at your calendar and get out your summative assessments. Line those up with the live interactions, the asynchronous interactions, and the formative assessments. Generally, the live interactions will happen on the same day of the week every week, with asynchronous activities on the other days. And depending on the learning objectives, some classes will use the same formative assessment every week, but others will mix it up. Also consider your own time and the student's time. When will you post content? When will you grade work or respond to questions? What adjustments might be necessary for your weekly pattern? Lastly, there are no hard and fast rules about any of this. Much depends on your circumstances and your students' needs. So take advantage of the inherent flexibility of online courses to create a weekly pattern that supports your class learning community. Thanks for watching.